Good morning. Welcome to Morning Prayer and this Tuesday morning in the 21st week after Pentecost. And so glad you're able to join us. It's hard to believe that we are very quickly uh, approaching November. How uh, time has, has flying. Um, so let us begin. I have my morning tea. Hope you have your morning beverage and let us begin hearing the word of God. O Lord, open my lips and my, my mouth, mouth shall declare your praise. praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light, in our life. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light, and our life. O oh, come, let us worship him. Our psalm today is Psalm 146. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have my being. Put not your trust in rulers nor in any child on earth, for there is no help in them. When they breathe their last, they return to earth, and in that day their thoughts perish. Happy are they who have God of Jacob for their help whose hope is in the Lord their God, who made heaven and earth, the seas, and all that is in it, who keeps his promise forever, who gives justice to those who are oppressed and food to those who hunger. The Lord set the prisoners free. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord cares for the stranger. He sustains the orphan and the widow, but frustrates the way of the wicked. The Lord shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, we're throughout all generations. Hallelujah. Let us pray. God of glory and power, happy indeed are those who have put their trust in you. Shine the brightness of your light upon that, uh, upon us, that we may love you always with a pure heart and praise you forever. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Well, we continue in Hosea in the seventh chapter, beginning with verse 8. Ephraim mixes himself with the peoples. Ephraim is a cake not turned. Aliens devour his strength, and he knows it not. Gray hairs are sprinkled upon him, and he knows it not. The pride of Israel witnesses against him, yet they do not return to the Lord their God, nor seek him for all this. Ephraim is like a dove, silly and without sense, calling to Egypt, going to Assyria. As they go, I will spread over them in my net and I will bring them down like birds of the air. I will chastise them with their wicked deeds. Woe to them, for they have strayed from me. Destruction to them, for they have rebelled against me. I would redeem them, but they speak lies against me. They do not cry to me from their heart, but they wail upon their beds. For grain and wine they gash themselves, and they rebel against me. Although I trained and strengthened their arms, yet they devise evil against me. They turn to Baal. They are like a treacherous bow. Their princes shall fall by the sword because of their insolence and their tongue. They shall be their derision in the land of Egypt. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thank be you. to God. Our second reading comes from Acts, the 23rd chapter, beginning with verse 12. When it was day, the Jews made a plot and bound themselves by an oath neither to eat nor drink till they had killed Paul. There were more than 40 who made this conspiracy. And they went to the chief priests and elders and said, We have strictly bound ourselves by an oath to taste no food till we have killed Paul. You, therefore, along with the council, give notice now to the tribune to bring him down to you, as though you were going to determine his case more exactly and we are ready to kill him before he comes near. Now the son of Paul's sister heard of this ambush, and he went and entered the barracks and told Paul. And Paul called one of the centurions and said, Take this young man to the tribune, 
for he has something to tell them. So he took him and brought him to the tribune and said, Paul the prisoner called me and asked me to bring this young man to you as he has said something to say to you. The tribune look, uh, took him by the hand and going aside, asked him privately, what is it that you have to tell me? And he said, the Jews have agreed uh, to ask you to bring Paul down to the council tomorrow. And though they are going to inquire something more closely about him, but do not yield to them for more than 40 of the men lie in ambush for him, having bound themselves by an oath, neither to eat nor drink until they have killed him. And now they are ready waiting for the promise from you. So the tribune missed the young, uh, dismissed the young man, charging him, Tell no one that you have informed me of this. Then he called two of the centurions and said, At the third hour of the night, get ready to add 200 soldiers with 70 horsemen and 200 spearmen, and go as far as Caesarea. Also provide mounts for Paul to ride, and bring him safely to Felix, the governor. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Paul has gotten in trouble here, and we'll have to see tomorrow where what happens if he gets to Felix. In many and various ways, uh, the pe- uh, in, uh, in many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets, but and now in these last days, days He has spoken to us by His son. son. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory Glory to the the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, you are almost ready to hear than you are you are always more ready to hear than we to pray, and to give more than we uh, we either desire or deserve. Pour upon us the abundance of your mercy, forgiving us those things of which our conscience is afraid, and giving us those good things for which we are not worthy to ask except through the merits of meditation of Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. O Lord Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for joining Tom and I on this Tuesday in the 21st week after Pentecost. And um, I hope that you'll watch Pastor Matthew this evening for evening prayer. And I hope to see you tomorrow morning. It's just such a great way to start our day. So God bless you and have a great day. Bye-bye.